How much money did my viral video make? Is YouTube viable? I'm gonna tell you all that in this video very shortly. I made a video titled, How Many Pull-Ups Can the World's Strongest Man Do? And that video absolutely blew up. I'm first gonna show you all the analytics of the video in terms of views, watch hours, and all that. And then I'm gonna unveil the revenue that the video generated. Okay, let's jump into the analytics right now. Okay, so for my video, How Many Pull-Ups Can the World's Strongest Man Do? This video has gotten 2,238,854 views since it was published. In terms of watch hours, that's 115.2 thousand watch hours. Interestingly enough, if you convert that to days, that's over 4,800 days worth of watch time. When we go to reach, it's had nearly 25 million impressions. And so what that means is how often the thumbnail is being shown. The impression click-through rate, which is 6.7%, which shows how often the thumbnail is clicked, when it's shown, the so 6.7% of the time. Average view duration is three minutes and five seconds. In terms of likes versus dislike, it's got 96.4% likes compared to dislikes. In terms of raw numbers, it's gotten 21,129 likes. After all these analytics that we've gone through, over 2.2 million views, over 115,000 watch hours, I'm curious what you think the revenue that this video has generated. And so without any further ado, we will go to the revenue. Estimated revenue, $1,291.61. I'm curious what you think about this number uh, if you thought it was higher than what you expected or what or if it was lower than what you expected there are several ways someone can earn money on their YouTube video which includes ad sharing revenue or the money you get from advertisers rolling ads in your videos channel memberships super chats super thanks and YouTube premium revenue and super stickers how do you know how much money you are making is by the RPM or revenue per milli which represents the amount of money you've earned per 1,000 video views on your channel or individual video so for this individual video revenue for every 1,000 views or RPM is 0.58 or 58 cents. So I earn 58 cents for every 1,000 views on this video. So if we bring up a calculator here, so as we know, the view count is 2,238,854. If we divide that by 1,000 and then we multiply that by the RPM of the video, which is 0.58, and so that's the revenue, 1,298.53 cents. And my RPM only represents the amount of money this video has generated through ads being rolled on it or YouTube premium memberships. I didn't get any donation through Super Chat, Super Thanks, Super Stickers, anything like that. This is only through ads because the only income this video generated was through ads. So for every 1,000 views, I get 58 cents. So this number over here, $6.29 is the CPM. The CPM or the cost per 1,000 ad impressions is the amount of money advertisers pay per 1,000 ad impressions before YouTube takes its cut from the revenue of the video. And mine is $6.29. So RPM is your total revenue after YouTube takes its cut. YouTube takes approximately 45% revenue from a video leaving the creator, or me in this case, with approximately 55% of the earnings. So not a very good deal for the creator, if you ask me. An RPM of 58 cents, which is quite low as many creators can have much higher RPMs. This RPM is just for this video, but the channel RPM is $2.05 sense, which is still very low. An RPM of five, six, seven, or eight is not uncommon. And some people have significantly higher RPMs as even high as double digit numbers. But that's my guess because some creators get a lot of donations from super thanks, super chats, and super stickers. For example, if I had an RPM of six on this video, assuming all came from ads, I would have made about $13,500 for this video, which would have been very lucrative. So the question is, is YouTube viable? Well, to be honest, making a video that gets over 2.2 million views is very hard to do in modern times when YouTube is extremely saturated with content and content creators. So to get another video to do this well is going to be extremely rare and have only made $1.3,000 off this video should highlight the extreme difficulty it would be to make a living off YouTube. YouTube expects creators to make a majority of their income from getting sponsors, which means you have to do advertisements for a product in your video or by fan donations through super chat, stickers, and thanks, or by selling merchandise such as clothing. Also, a lot of creators have Patreons to support their channel. Otherwise, it would not be financially viable with the income come from YouTube alone. So if you want to support a creator that you like, buying their merchandise or donating goes a long way since YouTube does not pay much from views. As an exercise to show the difficulty of having a popular video, look at some of the other channels you follow and just see how many of them have videos with two or three million views in them. It wouldn't be very many unless they are very popular content creators. Maybe the niche that I have on my channel is the cause for my low RPM. However, my audience is mostly men age 18 to 44 who live in the United States, which is a great demographic for advertisers. Making a living off the income 
income from YouTube alone is extremely difficult. And of course, I continue to work a 40 hour a week job as most content creators do as well. But I wanted to share my thoughts with you all about what my experience has been since my video went semi-viral because I've always wondered how much money some of these videos make that get a lot of views. Let me know what you think about YouTube being viable in 2023. And I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm extremely thankful for all the positive comments and feedback I got on this video and, and all my videos that I've made. And I really look forward to making more and sharing my passion for health, fitness, and wellness with all of you again in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.